Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another video on Python. In this video, we are going to learn on how to import multiple data files such as CSV or .txt files and then extract the data and plot in Python. Here I will be using Python 3.9 and Jupyter Notebook. So let's consider two situations. So in the first situation, you have the Python file or the notebook file in the same folder where you have all your data files. The goal is to import all the files and plot together. We will import multiple data files using the glob module in Python. So this is my data folder which consists of four data files as shown here. So let's open the data file. So this is the data file and you can see there are two columns and data sheets. So in this case, let's create a notebook inside this folder. So this is my folder data one. It consists of all these files. So let's create a notebook. So let's rename it as tutorial. So in this example, we will import the glob module and the required libraries. We then use the glob.glob function to get a list of all files in the specified directory that have .csv file extension. We then loop through the files and use the np.loadText function to import each file as numpy array. We can then extract the X and Y data from the array and plot it using matplotlib. We then also can add label to each plot based on the file name and add a legend to the plot. So let's see how it can be done. So let's first import all the libraries. So now let's use glob to get a list of all the files. So let's print it. So as you can see, there are four data files as shown below. So now let's look through the files and import each file. So this is how the plot looks. So now let's add the label. So in the label, we are going to add the file name. So now we have added the legend. Now let's add the X label and Y label.
this is how the plot looks now you can customize this plot depending on your requirement for example if you want to remove the dot csv part from the label we can do it here as you can see now in the label we only have the data file name and we have removed the dot csv part in the second situation suppose you have several files in the folder and you want to read and plot specific files in the folder this can be done using for loop suppose we have eight files in this folder and we are interested in plotting only the files corresponds to file number 0, 1, 2, 0, 4. so let's see how this can be done using for loop so let's first import numpy and matplotlib so now using for loop let's import first four files file name equals data file 0 plus string of i plus now let's load the file name So now let's extract the x and y data and plot. So this is how the plot looks. So now let's say in this data set I am interested in only plotting the data set 11 16 and 18 in this case i can replace here and here i can replace data file 1 so let's put the label So as you can see, we are only plotting data file 11, 16 and 18. So the two different ways I have showed you, this code assumes that you have the data files in the same folder as your Python code or notebook. It uses a for loop to iterate through the file names and load each file using np.loadText. It then extracts the X and Y data from each file and plot it using plt.plot now let's say you want to access data from a different folder so suppose suppose i have this data set in the folder data 02 and i want to access this folder without actually making a notebook file or a python file in this folder now suppose you want to access data from a different directory to change the current working directory in python you can use the os module first you will need to import the module using import os and then use the os.change directory function to change the directory so now let's change the directory to this folder so let's open this directory 
so you we want to change the directory to this folder so let's copy it so os dot change directory So as you can see, this will run all the file in this directory, which is desktop data 02. So we can access any directory using os.chdir command. Now I will show you how you can open Jupyter Notebook and external drive, say a USB flash drive. Suppose we want to open Jupyter Notebook in this external flash drive. So for this, let's go to command prompt. Let's write cd dot dot. Let's change the directory to E. Now type cd space, press on tab and you will see all the folders in this pen drive and click enter. Now type Jupyter Lab. As you can see, I have opened Jupyter Loadbook on my USB flash drive. So this will launch Jupyter Lab with your USB flash drive as the working directory, allowing you to access any notebook or data file stored in this drive. I hope you found this video useful thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next video